People like to laugh at sex. People like to laugh at dirty things. And people love to be shocked, I think. You make my nips get hard. So that's my job, to get out there and shock them. Divine was dangerous. Part outlaw, part serial killer. She was simultaneously sexy and monstrous. Is she going to screw me or eat me? <laughs> The pediatrician told me that Glenny was more feminine, was masculine. He got beat up every day at school. When Divine finally did go out, he met gay people, and then he went out with a vengeance. Divine was breaking the rules of drag. John Waters started to make films for our own enjoyment and to keep us out of trouble. And that's how Divine got born. Immediately, everybody noticed him. <laughs> Anything that John asked Divi to do, he would do. Divine ate a dog turd, and I don't think anybody in the history of cinema is ever going to top that feat. John and Divine became a phenomenon. If they had any kind of name, he wanted to meet him. And guess what? He did. He was very depressed because he was trying to parlay this Divine character into an acting career as a man. Before, it was just always this fat transvestite with a big candy floss wig. They couldn't see beyond the paint and the exterior. He really wanted to be known as a character actor. It was really important to him. He was such a gregarious, pink piece of flesh. You just figured, go on forever. No one else can ever call themselves divine. That's her legacy. He stood for anybody that didn't fit in, that exaggerated what everybody hated, turned it into a style, and won. I am divine.